Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sanika and you are watching Psycho Didi. Today we are going to talk about NET, JRF in psychology, paper 1, a little bit about how to prepare, what opportunities are there. Uh, I'm going to try and package everything in one short video. But if I'm unable to, there is always my Instagram at the rate psycho 2022. You can come there and ask questions or book a consultation with me to talk about your net JRF preparation. For people who are new here, I just want to say hi again and I'm very happy that you have decided to follow Psycho Didi. A little bit about me is just six months ago, um, in June 2023 attempt, I was able to clear NET and JRF in psychology. Um, around 30,000 people sat for the exam and 54 got JRF. Um, and I was able to do that by preparing for just like three months. And I honestly feel that it is not impossible. It is not because of some innate talent or anything. It's just practice, practice, practice and a lot of consistency um, that uh, helps people reach the feed that they reach. So I feel that why gatekeep? I'll just share everything that I did with you guys so that you can also give your best and clear the exams that you want to clear. So now without further delay, let's get started. UGC NET is conducted by the National Testing Agency and this exam is usually conducted so that you get eligibility to become assistant professor in any university. It does not mean that you will automatically become assistant professor as soon as you clear UGC NET. It is just a qualifying exam. <laughs> After that, you are eligible to become. But after you qualify the NET exam, uh, what happens is you have to apply for various vacancies of professors on contractual basis or professors which have a permanent or some kind of different structure of um, employment. Then you have to give interviews and then you get hired in some college. Now, what is this NET exam? It is National Eligibility Test. This exam has two papers. The first one is the general paper. It is called Research Teaching Aptitude Paper. Um, and it has 10 units. The units are about research, teaching, communication, logic, um, quantitative aptitude, then uh, GK, people, environment. Um, it's also a little bit about education. And overall, 10 units are there. I'll just show you the 10 units here and you can also download the syllabus from the website i'll put the website link down in the description box uh, and i will put the syllabus on my telegram group my telegram group is psychology buffs the name again is given in the description box you can go ahead and check that out there is a lot of material there that can help you prepare so that is what is there for paper one. For paper two, it is about psychology. Again, 10 units are there. The name of the units are mentioned here. And uh, these 10 units are about psychology. Um, mostly they are about general psychology. There is a little bit of clinical and counseling and research and all of that. But also there are parts of intelligence, personality, emotion, stress, all of that is considered in the paper two. So there are 100 questions from paper 2 which are asked. Every question has 2 marks. There is no negative marking. And there are 50 questions from paper 1 which are asked. Every question has 2 marks, no negative marking. Total there are 300 questions. And usually 60 to 70 percent marks which means 180 marks to 210 marks is the cutoff for net. Now what is JRF? Like NET is the qualification that you require to become assistant professor. But JRF is a fellowship. If you clear a little higher cutoff. For JRF, there is a cutoff which goes a little higher than NET. So for example, if NET cutoff is 210, JRF cutoff usually is 240. Usually 25 to 30 marks difference is there. If you clear that cutoff, then you get a fellowship. And if you enroll in any PhD degree, after your master's, then you can avail that fellowship to get a stipend. The stipend is usually of 37,000 rupees per month and you can get that stipend while you are doing your PhD. It's cool, no? Like, so <laughs> that is why I actually wanted to do JRF. I gotta do it, man.
but we'll talk about that sometime later. This is NET and JRF. Now I know that you only have around two, three months in your hand to prepare for NET and JRF, not even three months, two and a half months, if I'm being honest. Um, and I feel that right now is not a good time to ask, will I be able to clear in two months or not? If you're able to clear, great. If you're not able to clear, there is always the June attempt that you can give. The good thing about this exam is this exam is conducted every year twice in December and in June. And if you do not clear in one attempt, you can give in the next attempt. Um, there is no limit of attempts to give net JRF. There is only a age limit to clear JRF. So if you want to clear JRF and get the stipend, then you have to be below 29 years of age. Net, you can give any time clear any time so there is no problem to that now that you know about net and jrf there are two things that i would like you to do while you're preparing for your exam i am not going to exactly share what strategy to use because everybody has their own way of preparing but these are two things that you should definitely inculcate in your preparation if you want to ensure that you are doing your questions accurately um, right now, because the time is less, it is not a lot about getting your concepts very clear and knowing everything to the T from scratch. It is more about being able to solve questions correctly. And while this is not a very good approach to go by, um, this approach might work right now if you are going for the December exam. Ideally, one should prepare for at least six months to eight months if they want to clear NET and JRF. But if you are planning to give the December exam, here is what you could do if you want to get the maximum possible marks. This technique is called isolating the questions to its particular topics. What you could do is take past 10 year question papers of NET and JRF of psychology. One good thing that UPS education has done is it has compiled a booklet of all past 10 years question papers of all different sets, set A, set B, essay, um, and they have made it available in a book. That book PDF is available in my Telegram group. Again, the Telegram group is Psychology Buffs. The name is given in the description box. You can put the name on the Telegram group and you will find it. Um, and in that Telegram group, you can find the book in the docs section. That book has all the past 10 years question paper. What I would suggest you to do is sit with all the 10 year of question papers, look at all the 10 topics that are there um, and delegate every question to that topic. Like that, you can segregate all questions into 10 different topics and make a folder. You can do this on your computer. Make a Google Doc where you have written the name of first topic. The first topic is, let's say, emergence of psychology. And there you have put all questions, Indian psychology, Western psychology, which come under the topic emergence of psychology. And then you have made a folder of that. You've done that for unit 2, unit 3, till unit 10, you have done that. While you do this in this process, as you look at different topics, um, different subtopics that are there in the question and that you need to study, um, make a list of four or five subtopics that you need to revise on that day and revise that much. Then the next day, make a list of another four or five subtopics that you need to revise and revise that much. And do this for all the major subtopics that you need to revise and revise them eventually as you are putting the questions in the uh, folder. Now, one month before the exam, you can take access to that folder and you can see the type of questions that will come for your exam. Usually the questions are repeated um, and they are recycled. So you won't have to worry about net coming up with a completely new set of 100 questions. Usually there will be at least 30, 40 questions that will be repeated from the past 10 year papers. Uh, so do this while you are preparing for your net JRF. If you are in a place that you can join Hafsa Ma'am's classes on an academy, please do that. Um, I prepared with her classes. Um, Hafsa Ma'am basically is Hafsa Malik, uh, who teaches on an academy in the UGC net category. And uh, she is great when it comes to teaching. I prepared with her and I can vouch for her more than I can vouch for anything else in terms of coaching in my life. 
um so yeah that but um ha even if you don't want to join coaching classes or pay for them i understand what you can do is at least join her telegram group her telegram group is called hafsa malik psychology i will mention the name of that also in my description below um and when you join her telegram group you will get access to all the updates about when her free classes are going to be uh right now she is doing a lot of revision marathons and free classes on youtube where she is solving uh, previous year questions and she is giving mock tests and she is giving unit wise mcqs that you can practice right now guys it is a very good time to not do things from scratch but really practice as much as you can and whatever is incorrect just focus on that to brush that up and make it correct polish it better and make sure that you don't do a mistake in that if you are already scoring 40 50 marks in psychology then you can score up to 60 70 and maybe you will even clear the net cut off go with this mindset that do as better as you can and score as much as you can instead of um questioning yourself that will you be able to do it in so less time available now time is less that is not in our hand so what can we do with this that is the most important please go with this mindset and don't go with the negative mindset another thing that is important is paper 1 please focus on things that you are good at um there will be 10 units and in those 10 units there will definitely be at least 4 5 units that you will be very good at if you don't like quant or gk please know that quant or gk is only 2 3 units and apart from that there is logical reasoning there is basic logic there is communication there is research aptitude research for psychology and paper 1 is pretty much the same so there are different different topics that you can take 5 on 5 in there is reading comprehension and all of that is there please go through the syllabus and don't fear paper 1 um even if you do well in 6 7 units and if you score like 35 marks out of 50 it is good enough um that is something that will also help you clear your net cut off and please don't ignore paper 1 one. one thing that you can do is you can every day you can solve one mock paper uh, from past year or uh, you can buy mock series on nta abhyas there is a, a channel called nta ugc net abhyas there is an app called nta ugc net abhyas you can download that and there for free you will get access to 300 paper 1 mock papers um you can solve one every day and slowly you will go through the pattern of how those questions look like uh, try to improve two three questions at a time if if there are 15 questions that are wrong try to get better at at least two three questions and don't make the same mistake again and this process of doing questions polishing again doing questions again polishing again and doing it consistently i feel will get you from 40 or 50 to 70 and that 70 will hopefully help you clear your net and jrf so all the best for your preparation and i hope this video helped you bring some clarity to your preparation plan if there is any other thing that you want to talk about if you're preparing for june and you want to talk about your june plan then feel free to dm on at the rate psychodidi 2022 usually we take some time to reply to your questions but please have that much patience we will definitely reply to you um and if you want to talk to me one on one then you can also schedule a consultation i would be more than happy to help you out and if this video helped you then please consider subscribing to this channel like this video and share it with anyone who might find it helpful um i will also come up with a gate preparation video but till then keep studying keep watching my videos and i will see you in my next video bye bye